Hello, this is Floyd Marshall Jr., the writer and executive producer of Compromise, and you are watching What's Your Point of View? It's time to hear from you. Welcome to Point of View. Desperate people do desperate things. So we compromise. compromise. Every day in life. Everybody, I am here and I'm excited to be standing next to the director and the producer of Compromise, Floyd Marshall Jr. Hi, Hi how are you? I'm excited. I'm, I'm just excited about waiting to see Compromise. At first, I want to say congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Well, give us some information about how this day came about. Just give us a little bit because I know you probably have... Uh, yeah, I could be here all night. Um, you know, a lot of hard work um, with a lot of cast members. You know, everyone, they, they, were, they were so professional. They were always on point. And it, it was just a great group of people to work with. My director, Angelique Marshall, kept everything tight. So, you know, a lot of hard work. And people will see the culmination of all the hard work that the cast members did. I just put it on paper, and, and they just took it, and they ran with it. Well, thank you for having the vision. So, for us that are sitting there watching TV, give us some information about what we can expect by watching Compromise. Okay, well, you will definitely get surprised. Uh, you'll be a little bit taken aback because, you know, the language is strong. But the movie is basically about family and betrayal. So if uh, you're into, I guess, uh, like the Shakespearean type of novels, that's basically what I based this, this film off of, Macbeth. So if you like a little bit of mystery and twists and turns, then this is the type of film. And, and pretty women, because we have some pretty women in this. So if you like pretty women, this is definitely a film you want to see. I saw a couple people were talking about the gangster in the movie, but it has balance. Oh, absolutely. You know what? I When, when I first wrote this, uh, one of the things that I said is I like an intelligent gangster film, a, a Sugar Hill. Um, I know it's a cliche, but The Godfather. Those are gangster films, but it's it's... It's controlled violence. You know, it's not gratuitous. You know, no one's, you know, turning the gun sideways, things like that. It's control. It's violence when violence is needed. But, you know, if I can talk, if I can talk about it, because sometimes talking is all that's needed. And, and, and those are the type of films that I like to write that, you know, that everyone can, can actually sit down and, and enjoy. I need a problem fixed. What kind of problem? The problem you always fix. Who? Aaron. I can't do that, Ethan. What? He has me on retainer. Retainer? You're a damn killer. A killer with a code. He has me on retainer for a year. I can't kill him, but I can kill you. Okay, so before we go, if someone's out there who's a director or a starting producer, what would be a note to self that you would give them? Do not take no for an answer. Um. No is an opportunity for me to get you to say yes. So I don't really look at no's. Um, Robert Townsend said it's going to take you 700 no's to get the one yes. So I don't, when someone says no, I say okay, then it's time for me to go a different route to get you to say yes. So my thing would be do not take no for an answer. So no is not a negative thing to you? No, not at all. No and can't. I don't, I don't know what those words mean. They, I don't, you know, I don't know. They're just out there. They're just in the dictionary, but they're not in our vocabulary. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. All right, you stay tuned. We have more of Compromise right after this. We compromise, compromise every day in life. In life. Then we realize, we realize on, our on our side. See the times have changed. Times have changed. The world is not the same. Not the same. Family's not the same. Not the same. 